In this video, I will be installing brand new spark plugs into my 2008 Honda CBR 600 RR. In order to keep this video short, I will not be showing removal of the fairings or the coolant. The first thing you are going to want to do is remove the lower, mid, and upper fairings. Next, you will want to drain the coolant out. Next, you are going to want to unbolt the radiator. There's one 10 millimeter bolt on the bottom, and then there are two more bolts on the top. Also, you will need to disconnect the hose to the radiator. Once that is done, you should be able to lower it about five to six inches, giving you enough room to access the spark plugs. All right, guys, so you want to make sure you have enough room in here to work. And in order to do that, you're going to have to remove this pair system. All the pair does is inject air into the exhaust. Don't worry too much about it. You just kind of pry those hoses up. Once you pry them off, uh, there will be a bolt right here. And it kind of sits right up there. And you'll know it because it's next to the horn. Under the bolt, you can slide that up. And then you disconnect all the uh, coils. And then the whole unit, which is this right here, can be pulled over to the side over here and out of your way. And that will give you nice and easy access to all the plugs. Honda doesn't make it easy, but it is possible. Honda gives you just enough room to uncomfortably remove the spark plugs. Make sure you take your time and be careful. We are going to start by unclipping the first plug. Once that is done, go ahead and pull the boot up. After you do that, you can go ahead and get the spark plug wrench and push it right down on the plug. A swivel mount helps a ton. Next, you can attach your wrench and loosen the plug and remove it. It will be tricky and require a bit of finesse. Next, you are going to gap your spark plug. The gap should be between 0.8 and 0.9. Now you can go ahead and reinstall the spark plug. Make sure you put the plug back on the spark plug wrench and slowly lower it into the hole. Then slowly turn it by hand as far as you can. If it doesn't turn by hand, then keep trying until it does. You want to avoid cross-threading the spark plug hole. Once the spark plug is in as far as it can go, you can give it a quick turn to crush the crush washer on it. Do not strip it. Now once that is done, you can re-plug the boot and the clip if you want, or you can leave them unplugged and do them all at the end. And that's it guys. I'm not going to show you every single plug as that's pretty redundant. Also, I think the most important thing with this video is that 100% you need to remove the pair system. So just do it at the beginning. It makes life so much easier. Also, sorry for just a general bad angles and video work. I tried my very best, but this is a very stressful job as one wrong move could ruin the entire engine. Also, the area was very difficult to film because it was so enclosed. But I figured, hey, this would be a great video to put out because when I went to do my plugs, there was absolutely no information on my 2008 CBR 600RR spark plugs. I found ones for the previous generation of 2006, but that doesn't do me any good because it's a different engine. So even though this isn't a greatly lit, awesome tutorial video with perfect angles and whatnot, at least it's another resource that you can use to do your spark plugs. I would recommend getting a repair book and going by that and just use this as a supplemental guide in order to see where the things are. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. And if you want to see more motorcycle related videos, then subscribe. I upload every single week. Have a good one. Take care and bye bye. Mommy is a sick muse, play a little Arizal, let me live my life, the one I better lead, all the blondes of fantasies, and we looked at them, eleven ways, you said look at me, I looked away, and you wrote the song I wanna play, I'll write you.